Hi there, Pastor Jeremy here with another one-hour challenge insight into Acts chapters 17 and 18. Acts chapter 17 was, to say the least, frustrating. After some initial success in Acts chapter 16, Paul and Silas met Timothy and Lydia, and they turned a night of in prison into an entire household being saved and an official apology from the city's magistrates. But in Acts chapter 17, things went in went south, literally and figuratively, when they moved on to Thessalonica. A riot broke out there, and it was decided that Paul and Silas needed to head out right away. So they left going to Berea. Once they arrived in Berea, they continued teaching, and the people there eagerly embraced the gospel that they proclaimed. But then the same hooligans that stirred up trouble in Thessalonica, well, they heard what was going on in Berea, and they came to stir up trouble there too, forcing Paul to flee to Athens. In Athens, the apostle was invited to address the, the Areopagus, a famous Greek lecture hall. And there he delivered a sermon that was absolutely phenomenal. It was clear, it was compelling, it was masterfully applied to the situation in Athens. And when he was finished, everyone wanted him to come and speak again. Yet only, quote, some people joined him and believed, unquote. It must have been discouraging. I mean, yes, people were saved, but no doubt Paul had hoped for, Paul had expected more. Not just once or even twice, but three times Paul had expected more results and only got a little bit. Maybe you can relate. You pour yourself into your work, into your ministry, you give everything, you do everything right, and yet you have precious little to show for it all. For Paul, there were only two choices. He could pack it in and take the next ship bound for Antioch, putting an end to this disastrous second missionary journey and possibly an end to all of his missionary journeys. That'd be it for forever. Or he could press on to Corinth, that bustling metropolis just a few more miles up the road from Athens. Which would you do? In Acts chapter 18, we discover that Paul chose the latter. And despite his discouragement, despite his frustration, he pointed his feet toward Corinth. And it's a good thing he did. When he arrived there in Corinth, he found a Jew named Aquila and his wife Priscilla. They were tent makers, just like Paul. And the three became fast friends. Is there anything better than a friend to treat discouragement? More than that, Paul's ministry in Corinth bore fruit. A guy named Crispus, the leader of the synagogue, and his entire household, they, they believed. So also did a Gentile named Titius Justus and, and many others. In fact, the ministry was so productive in Corinth that the apostles stayed there for 18 months, plus, quote, some time, unquote, before finally taking his leave and heading back toward Antioch. From what we know of Paul's work, his stay in Corinth was second in length only to his stay in Ephesus on the third missionary journey. The church that he planted in Corinth would eventually become a powerhouse in the region. Moreover, the city of Corinth was a major trade hub. So how many people heard about Jesus and then took that gospel with them to the farthest corners of the world? Perhaps it was someone who heard the gospel in Corinth that planted the church at Rome. We don't know. Yet, None of that would have happened if Paul had allowed his discouragement and frustration to stop him after Athens. There will be times that we are discouraged. There are going to be times that we're frustrated. It's not a matter of if, but when. Most likely, there are in these moments lessons that we can be learning, things that we need to change along the way. But if we hope to see success... It's in those times of discouragement and frustration, those moments when we are tempted to give up, that we need to resolve to persevere, to press on, to get up and, in the words of Cornelius Robinson, keep moving forward. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you're having a great day. Be blessed. Be a blessing. We'll talk to you soon.